Why, hello, you amazing, beautiful people, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact Thursday. Do not forget that tonight, 8.30 p.m., live on Twitch, we are going to be doing our charity live stream. We'll be restarting Genshin Impact next week, but tonight we're doing a charity live stream. We're playing Doki Doki Literature Club Part 2. Do not miss it. We're going to be raising some money for an amazing charity, Gamers Outreach. Please come along and support the stream, 8.30 p.m. UK time, tonight on Twitch. Link in the description. But yes... Yes, 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 this song right here has been heavily recommended by all of you. We started our Genshin Impact journey with a battle theme. We are now going back to the battle themes. It's been a long, long time since we checked out some of these. They are heavily recommended and requested from all of you. And this one, top of that list. How do I pronounce this? Enkanomiya? Enkanomiya? Is, is that right? Enkanomiya? Um, you guys asked me to check out the animated version, but it's four minutes long and the full version is nearly 12 minutes long. So we got to check out the, uh, the full version first, the 12 minute long version. So we're going to check that one out today. Let me know in the comment section what else you'd like to see a reaction to Genshin Impact related. Every single one of these first days videos is voted for by all of you in that comment section. Simply go to the comment section, put your recommendations down below, upvote the ones you agree with, and the top and most requested from all of you are what I will keep reacting to every single first day. Also, by the way, we're doing a $500 giveaway every single month on Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch, you are missing out on your chance of winning $500. And to enter, all you need to do is press that follow button. Click the link to my Twitch chat. Chat? Click the link to my Twitch channel in the description. Go over to there. Click that follow button and you're automatically entered. If you unfollow, you won't be entered because the draw is done at the end of every single month. So make sure you follow and stay followed. And that's all you need to do for your chance to win $500. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Why am I doing the outro? I'm crazy. I'm going to stop talking. Like, subscribe. Let's jump into my first time ever reaction to the Genshin Impact OST battle theme, Enkanomiya. Twelve minutes long, by the way. How is the captions picking up a word? a flipping Pirates of the Caribbean sort of vibe to it with that like old school pirate violin. Is it called a fiddle? Um, sort of in the background there. By the way, what's the difference between a battle theme and a boss theme? Is, is there a difference? And if so, what is the difference? Because I don't actually know, so let me know. That switch up was beautifully done. That switch up changed it from fun and energetic to emotional, just like that. moment to just praise Genshin like my god man they've created one absolutely stunningly beautiful game and on top of that they create this fantastic soundtrack like I'm just doing a huge shout out to Genshin Impact man <laughs> huge shout out to Genshin Impact because holy shit you crush it the music is just I react to so many different video game OSTs now on this channel we're going down the rabbit hole big time and whenever we come back to Genshin Impact every single Thursday I'm just constantly shocked with how much effort and love goes into everything from the fucking character themes. They, they, they can add a new plant to the world of Genshin Impact and it have its own damn soundtrack. It's, it's incredible. And it would have like a full orchestra doing the soundtrack. It'd be a 20 minute long soundtrack for a damn plant. Like that is the level of detail and love that goes into the music in this universe. And I'm not even joking. It wouldn't even surprise me. Ah. Oh. Back to the sort of Pirates of the Caribbean style. 
where it's fun and energetic. Doesn't feel too scary, doesn't feel too deep. Just fun. Like someone running on a rooftop, you know, that's what I'm getting from this. Like Assassin's Creed in a, on a, in a fun mission. just got goosebumps how can it go from literally like energetic fun pirates of the caribbean style you know jack sparrow running on a rooftop vibes to flipping again just that instant change adding this like br- like exhale vocalist sort of tone in the background and then i just get goosebumps down my flipping spine oh so many moving parts just working so well together Oh! Oh! Woo! The violin work is flawless on this. It's almost got like now this like a cappella backing, hasn't it? Because you had this vocalist that's coming in and doing these sort of like extra notes over the instrumental. You've got the violin and, the, and 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 everything, the cello, all the sort of uh, string in- instruments, really like keeping the tempo of all of this. But then you have this now a cappella style to adding to that vocalist as well. It's just it's amazing what they try, what they use and utilize in creating any kind of damn song. So many moving parts every time. Never simple. Okay, so that was battle track one. All right, so there's there's three battle tracks under this battle theme. Interesting. What's everyone's favorite one? Is one your favorite one? I'm interested to see what the differences are in the three of them. So we're on battle track two now. Okay. Starting off quite similar, but a bit more intense, I'd say. The piano as well. A lot more intense. A bit more emotional. I feel like I already prefer this one, weirdly. Like the electronic effect? It's just occurred to me, this is a battle theme. This does not feel like a battle theme. Does it? It, 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 it... It doesn't have that element of I'm fighting something at all. It definitely feels like an OST, but not a battle theme.
this this one feels completely different. Sorry, I was actually just like I don't know if you saw that. I just like got lost in this for a second. I like when I listen to music sometimes. Sometimes my mind just starts like adding scenes to the songs, just random scenes in my imagination. Do you guys get that sometimes? You'll listen to a song, you sit back, you sort of close your eyes, and you your brain will just create an entire story to match the music. That's literally what was just happening there. My brain was just going off on a tangent. I am I am very confused and like and kind of like I don't know the correct word from it like impressed at the same time because this doesn't feel like a battle theme but I don't really know what the difference is between a battle theme and a boss theme so I don't know what the significant difference is there but the the, uh, the thing that surprised me the most is how different battle track one and two sound they obviously the similarities but only in terms of the instruments used other than that like the sort of emotions that they're conveying very very far from each other the first one was energetic and kind of fun at times this one just kind of deeper and, and more emotional. Very different. And usually with like battle themes, you notice that they get more and more intense as they go on. Doesn't feel like that this time. In fact, it feels like the first one was more intense than the second one, which I've never seen before. Very unusual. Stunning. Anyone else when they hear like violin like this, do you just imagine like Lindsay Sterling or something? That's usually where my brain goes. need something explaining to me okay we've checked out the first two now you guys are gonna need to help me on this one this is it this is this is this is this is the thing we're doing blind reactions what is this what the hell am i watching it's not a boss theme right which has like three phases and it gets more and more epic it isn't because that one was more chill than the first one but it ended on like an epic note i don't understand i don't i don't get what i'm listening to here they don't really feel like scenes that would unfold when you're fighting something they just feel like kind of like background exploring a city kind of themes like very bizarre I'm, I'm very lost with this don't get me wrong they have all been perfect absolutely beautiful very well done and amazingly well put together composed constructed beautiful osts as usual from genshin but i don't understand what they are i don't understand when they're supposed to be playing that's the part that's confusing me and i don't understand how battle track 2 because in my head i was imagining it was like phases you know that it was going to get more and more epic but it isn't so now i'm lost i'm like well, what is it and why are there different versions that's the part I don't know. Yeah, that part is confusing. Like, is this one going to be less epic, more epic? It already sounds different with the sort of techno approach it's going for. Like, this sounds like a the, fl the fucking song that plays whenever John Wick walks in a club. Everyone run, John Wick's about to start shooting up the place. That's what this gives me. A bit more mellow now, you know, a bit more calming. Not so much John Wick. Anyone else just getting ready for like a huge dance drop then? That literally felt like we were all in a club. You got like flipping green and purple sort of lights just like flashing out in the club. And at any moment it's like do 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 do. And it goes into like full fucking Matrix reloaded drop. Um, and it just switched up and went back on itself. <laughs> it just tricked us. Brilliant.
This one has like a retro video game feel to it. Anyone else getting that? Like I can see this being like a original Metal Gear Solid flipping OST. Very old school feel. Or like Perfect Dark Zero. Kind of gives me Perfect Dark Zero vibes. This one is definitely the most different, I'd say. Like the first two kind of followed like the cello and the and the violin heavily. Like they sort of led the way. This one not so much. This one is much more. Um, you got guitar in the background there as well. The violins only just sort of coming now. It's focused a lot more on like an electronic style of instrumental, which is carrying the song. This one feels the most different out of all three. I I would say. I don't know which one's your favorite, by the way, because honestly. It's very hard to pick a favorite out of these three. Maybe two is my favorite? I don't really know, what about you guys? This one really does, like now it feels like a like Halo 1. Like I could just imagine this playing in like a Halo 1 Warthog chase scene. Feel that? It does feel very Halo, I love it. The violin, the drum. recommended an hour version of this I don't I don't understand I don't understand I really don't I really don't like I, I I'm very confused I'm very lost I don't know what this was we didn't so we checked out a battle theme ages ago right uh, it was the first video I ever recorded a reaction to there's now I'm now being recommended uh, in Azuma battle music Wait. Wait a second. I think I figured it out. The Inazuma kind of helped me. Is this an area of the map? Is Enkan Omiya? Enkan Omiya? You guys probably like. Is pronounced blah blah blah. Alright, anyway. Enkan Omiya. <laughs> Is this a part of the map? Is this general battle music when you get into any fight on the part on that part of the map in that area? Is that what this is? Is that what this is? Did I just figure it out there at the end? Why am I being recommended an hour long version of this? Is this just a general soundtrack for that area of the map? Is that what this is? 
That would make sense. That would explain why it felt different and felt unusual and didn't feel like it had phases. Because if there's free battle tracks, these are free battle tracks for any kind of fight. Meaning they're not going to feel like they have phases because they don't have phases. They are just general battle tracks that will play whenever you get into a fight and they'll be randomly picked. Is that what this is? That answers a couple of questions for me, if that's the case. The only reason that that popped into my head as what this could be is because of the uh, Inazuma uh, recommendation at the end of the video. There's a 20 minute Inazuma battle music one. Do you guys want that one next? This is so good. So these are just random songs that play when you get into a fight in this area of the map. Is that the case? These are really, really good. I honestly don't know which one I prefer. They're all very different. The first one felt more fun and energetic, a bit more lighthearted. Second one felt a lot more serious, uh, maintained a lot of the same sort of style that the first one had. The third one, completely different. Not, not even slightly similar to the first two. Like very different, very electronic based, almost felt like, like underwater feeling. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, opening with like a sort of John Wick entering a club intro, then switching it up and be and, and sort of changing from like. But none of, none of them really felt like epic battle music, which was interesting. They sort of felt like a bit um a bit more uh I say like I don't know emotional in a way, like a bit slower. Not really like I'm fighting something, more just like I'm exploring. That's sort of the vibes I got from it. I don't know. Did I did I misread the sort of vibes it was putting out there? I don't know. Let me know. Also, let me know which one of these was your favorite. I'm curious, because they're all very different, but still kind of similar undertones. So it's kind of a difficult one for me to pick a favorite. So I'm interested if it's easier for you guys. Hmm. Did I get it right at the end, what they are? Let me know that as well. Well, thus concludes my reaction. Uh, this was awesome. This was good. But then again, it's Genshin Impact. Everything music in the world of Genshin Impact is awesome. Um, so I'll be reading the comment section. I'll be seeing what you guys are all recommending. What do you guys want me to react to next week? Next Thursday, what should be our Genshin Impact Thursday reaction? Put all your recommendations in that comment section down below. And whatever you guys ask for the most, that's what I'll record a reaction to next week. I really hope you all enjoy these Genshin Thursday videos. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. Keep supporting them. Don't forget, there is a $500 away giveaway. $500 giveaway <laughs> on Twitch. If you want to enter, you just need to follow me. It's that simple. There's no T's and C's, nothing. If you're followed at the end of every month for the next few months, We'll be doing a draw of all the followers on the channel. And if you're one of those followers, you enter into that draw. You can use as many counts as you want. It doesn't matter. There's no limits. Um, so yeah, just go follow me on Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch. Link in the description for $500. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, my friends, you will see me. Mm.